Well, I'll be damned, folks. After a month of finicky failures, it is looking like Don't Starve Together's newest hunting mechanics are finally working for us. A host of horrors went and introduced all sorts of tweaks to our animal tracks here, from dangerous paths to corpse surprises, but even those don't tell the whole tale. Not when that Varg indicator down there is going about its business far more than it usually does. But before we get to why that is, I do want to reassure everyone that the original mechanics of both Suspicious Dirt Piles and Hunts themselves are still absolutely in play. In the early goings, everything should be pretty darn normal and the end result should be our typical Meals on Wheels there. That said, as the world progresses, or if you just have some dumb bad luck early on, said dirt piles will get a bit of a makeover. They can be near the ends of hunts or somewhere in the middle, but if the game rolls a hunt surprise nowadays, let's just say it's not really going to be a hunt surprise. Dangerous paths mean a dangerous end no matter what, so expect our usual Yukuses and Vargs. However, note that both now have new set pieces to boot. Yukus will be sleeping after a meat feast apparently, with the Vargs being the ones that actually get caught in the middle of said feast themselves. Yes, everyone, they kept the Koalifin carcass thing from the beta, and yes, I still don't know the full extent of it yet. As here's the thing, they totally distract the summon hounds for us, which actually adds a whole new level to these Varg encounters, and that's kind of nice. But the problem is, is that's all that these carcasses are, I guess. Even after the beta, we have no further interactions with these bodies, and they just disappear almost instantly anyways, once these encounters end, so yeah. But hey, maybe that will change, and before we do get to one last big change, let us talk how Vargs now roam free if and when they're spawned. And yup, that talk's over. Have fun with this new danger, everybody. But if you want danger all the time, or you know, seemingly so, you best get these rifts activated. For you see, the moment the lunar tears in space and time are ready, nearly every hunt we find will be a dangerous one. So expect most of what we just discussed, of course. However, note that there is one final trick up the game's sleeve. Double hunt surprises. If you are on one, and just so happen to be taking your sweet time running from pile to pile, the game's gonna have one last laugh at the end, with new quotes and a new set piece, corpses will literally burst into a Varg and or a Yukus just for the heck of it, folks. So make notes. And there you have it, everyone. Finally, a complete overview of the new hunting mechanics of Don't Stop Together following a host of horrors. Notice that there are animal tracks on dangerous paths versus none on normal ones, and you'll be ready for whatever comes your way, I think. Thanks for watching. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.